Hey, how's it going? Welcome to Rapid Fire Repair Tutorials, the 50th episode. Whoop whoop. I thought for the 50th episode, let's do something kind of fun. So I wanted to just show you a fun action that I made. So, all right, let me set the scene for you. You're in Reaper, you're working on a project, you're doing something you've never done before, or maybe you just don't remember. You need to remind yourself. Let's say I'm trying to remind myself how dynamic split works because I haven't done it in a while, right? So, what's the best thing to do? Well, most of us would just go and look up a Kenny Joya tutorial, right? Now there's an action for that all i gotta do is go up to my toolbar here and i got this icon of kenny and it dances for you if you kind of hover over it which is fun click this page it opens this page and then here i just go dynamic split and boom bob's your uncle now i can watch this tutorial on dynamic split and i'll know what's up <laughs> so so that's kind of fun isn't it so let me show you how I did that because I think <laughs> as much as this is just for fun, the underlying action is quite useful. So the script is called Locasana create action to open a file. Once I run it, it tells me this to create an action that opens a folder. Use the next one and select the folder in that folder. Click OK. Another window will pop up manually erase the file name there. So if you want to open a file, no, don't worry about this. So what I want for this is uh, when there's a repair update, I want to quickly check out <laughs> what's going on there, right? And obviously I can use Google, but why use google when you can overcomplicate things and have some fun in the process one of my favorite series is on reaper blog by john tidy called what's new in reaper so every time there's a reaper update he just kind of gives you a tour of what's new and what are the new features that are added and i really like following those because i like to stay a few versions behind but once i watch those videos if something jumps out at me and if i see that there are no bugs or anything weird then i can go ahead and update my reaper and basically the ask kenny was just an html file of his youtube channel and this is another html file which you will see in a second the name is fine for now let's hit ok and it says successfully created file so let's add that to our toolbar as well because i also made a little icon for this it's just a reaper block thing uh, don't sue me john I, I mean you can sue me but i don't have any money but don't sue me i love you now i can just hit it and then there you go. It just opens a Google page and goes, what's new in Reaper? It kind of looks for the past month. Usually there's an update in the past month. So now I can go and check out this new update about what's new in Reaper. And it's better to look, ah, oh, get the fuck out of here. So anyway, goof it around aside, this is a really useful script. You can also use it if you have kind of producer's notes or something you want to open, any kind of file you want to open on your computer. I mean, obviously, Reaper has its own extensive note-taking system, which I'll do a video on in the future as well. That's one idea. If you want to open any kind of image, like a mixing cheat sheet or something like that, that could be useful. If you have sheet music you somehow need to refer to, you know, you can also use this to open like DaVinci Resolve or GIMP or something like that that you use. I don't know, there could be tons of uses for it if you use this for something kind of creative and cool definitely put that in the comments so that's kind of fun and i and obviously i realize that you can just open your google chrome and go to anywhere on the internet or whatever but hey man if i was interested in manually going to google chrome i wouldn't be a reaper user <laughs> but i think the underlying mechanics of this script has a lot of potential you, you can open files with it so okay so that's it for today because this is the 50th episode i thought it's a special occasion to do a little bit of chat with y'all as well First of all, thank you so much for watching the videos, for commenting and liking them and giving me encouragement. We started this series on September 22nd. So in just under three months, we've done 50 rapid fire reaper tutorials. We've done another 10 videos on post-production. We've also done a bunch of one-off videos, some mixing feedback Mondays, uh, which I haven't done in a while, but I have some mixes. So this Monday, actually, there will be a live stream where I will give mixing feedback to one of our viewers. And if there are people watching, we can also do a little bit of a fireside chat and Q&A and I have some surprises in store for y'all as well. Also, today I made another free download bundle including a bunch of custom actions, a bunch of free toolbars that you can check out on my blog and those are for the last kind of 25 episodes. The first 25 episodes have their own download bundle and the mini midi series we did recently that also has its own bundle. So just kind of have a browse through the blog because there will be a lot of stuff that hopefully you will find interesting. There's also some quizzes on the website. There's the automation quizzes. There's also this new EQ quiz that I made with a program that my friend Jonah from Startup Struggle made for me. So big props to him. He did it for free for his own channel. So check out his own channel as well if you're really into kind of programming and scripting and having a startup app. And overall, if you like the tutorials I do and the quizzes and all the free downloadables and all that stuff, please consider donating to me. I will put a link to where to donate to me in the description as well as in the blog. Yeah, you know, any little amount helps and I would really appreciate it. A big thanks to Kenny Joy and John Tidy. And this 
this episode was a little bit a tip of the hat to those guys as well. Overall, I really love the Reaper community. I love all the Reaper Facebook groups, the Reaper forums, the Reaper Reddit page as well, even though some people shit on me there, but whatever, I can take it. <laughs> I was actually thinking of doing a video responding to the hate mail I receive on Reddit. And yeah, what are you gonna do? Not, not everybody's gonna love these, but I can see that some of you do and that's very encouraging. Also big props to all the people who make these amazing scripts that we use and that you know add to the functionality of Reaper. Um, you know, you got MPL, Xenakios, Xrame, Archie, Morty. Um, I'm sure I'm forgetting some people, but all those amazing folks. And make sure to donate to them as well if you can afford it, because really they are the real magicians. I just try to explain what they do. As far as content creation goes, I'm still very new. I'm just kind of learning as I go. I'm learning video editing and I'm learning how to, you know, be presentable in front of the camera and how to explain things kind of in a concise way. And obviously I'm really open to feedback. You know, if you're a person who's watching my videos, definitely I value your feedback. And I know who my kind of main viewers are so I try to you know give more weight to their feedback than some random person on reddit who may not even watch the videos right also a lot of people talk about the video quality the video qualities are quite low and a little bit of that is because of my camera but I also try to render videos not in the highest quality because that uses more data and I know I have users in Iran where I'm from in Turkey and places all over Africa where internet is a little bit slow so if you make a video really kind of high definition it's harder for those folks to buffer them because the internet in those countries are slower and you know data does have carbon footprint so it's not for no reason I, I don't think you need to see all of this face in 4k you know so I just try to make them as high quality as really needed for the context of a tutorial but again hopefully you judge me not by my video editing or by my cinematography but by the content that I try to provide and yeah that's about it have a good weekend I'll see you on the live stream on Monday hopefully and more tutorials on a regular schedule as well take care Bye-bye.